This is KAG's HD Sports. After losing to 12th ranked Penn State on Sunday, it would be understandable if the Aggie women's basketball team wasn't all smiles for today's 11 o'clock game at Rita Rita. But thousands of elementary schoolers weren't going to let the Ags stay mad for long. More than 7,000 in attendance for today's Aggie women's basketball game against Nichols State, with more than 20 schools from the Bryan College Station area in attendance. Lot to scream and smile about early in the first half. The Aggies get the ball and Courtney Williams drains the three. AM went on a 12-2 run to start the game, and it was evident that Coach Gary Blair wanted to work on the transition game. Off the miss, Williams brings it down court, feeds Courtney Walker, who buries the jumper. Walker actually finished with 11, her ninth straight game in double-figure scoring. AM led by 21 at half. Now in the second half, the Ags keep it rolling. Nice ball movement to the corner. Williams finished with a game-high 14 points. The Aggies shot 50% from the three-point line. They go on to win this big 73 to 39. They celebrate the victory with the kids in the stands and the Santa hats. And afterwards, that's all they were talking about. Like I told them uh, after the game, this is the best environment we've had. And they cheered throughout the whole game. We've never had that before. So it just felt good to actually know, you know, they were loud the whole time. It just lets us know how much of a difference we made for them today. That sign may have been blocking someone's view. Next up, the Aggies make a trip to New York to play St. John's inside Madison Square Garden on December 22nd. Another team with hopes of celebrating a win, the Brenham Cubs. Saturday, Brenham plays in its third high school football state championship game in school history. The Cubs lost in 2002, then again in 2009 to Saturday's opponent, Alito. In that game, Brenham trailed 21-14 at halftime and lost 35-21. Will this year's game have a revenge factor? And how fresh is that game in players' and coaches' minds? This is a totally different team, I think. So we're just going to go out and do our thing like we've been doing all year. Stuff we dreamed about as a kid. Just coming and watching the 09 team do it in my eighth grade year. All of our eighth grade years, we were just talking about wanting to do that our senior year. It's great. In 2002, we went and we clearly did not play well. We were so sorely disappointed in ourselves. In 09, even though we were defeated, we played very, very well. And so there was a big difference in how we feel about you know, that, that ball game. We want to make sure that we go into this game and play as good as we possibly can. And a look at the coaches of a pair of top 25 teams in some SEC non-conference basketball tonight. Florida up by five, Dorian Finney-Smith with a pretty fake, then goes to the 10, gets the two, Gators up by four. Jerron Johnson steals a sloppy pass, able to finish strong with a right hand, that makes it a two-point game. Florida with a quick response, Gators miss the jumper, Patrick Young there for the tip-in. But with under a minute left in the first half, off of a Gators miss, Memphis pushes the pace. Joe Jackson gets it blocked, but David Pelham there for the finish. And right now, Memphis and Florida in a tight one, 64 to 60. Florida, of course, it is December, so really, we are still talking football. And one last football note, four Aggie football players received AP All-American honors today. Jake Matthews, Mike Evans made the first team, while Johnny Manziel and Drew Kayser, the punter, made the second team. Mm. For that full list, visit our website, kagstv.com, and click on the sports tab. And if you missed the six, we did come up with an ice cream name. I, if we can't say we, you. Okay, that no, was all I, you. no, not me, actually, Jared. All right, all right. <laughs> Jared came up with a great name, Mint Championship. Mint Championship, right, yes. Jared? Chip, 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 But Brenham has to win the game first, and that's <laughs> yeah. definitely going to be uh, no cup of tea, I guess you could say. They won't, they won't be facing a cupcake, so it'll Aww. definitely be a difficult game for them. But we'll all be rooting for them. Well, I won't be because <laughs> I can't be, but we'll be covering it okay. for sure. We'll be right back after this.